today Wednesday 9th of September 2015 First let's look at the paper highlights of today's newspaper Nilanga Dela elected Diyawadana Nilame Acting Diyawadana Nilame Pradeep Nilanga Dela was yesterday re-elected as Diyawadana Nilame of the Kandishri Dalada Maligawa with 205 vote at the election held in Sengaregale Buddhist Center Auditorium It was chaired by the Buddhist Commissioner Another news highlight from Daily Mirror Constitutional Council speaker calls for nominees Speaker Karujay Surya has written to the respective parties to nominate their members to the Constitutional Council to be set up the conformity with the composition of the new parliament official said yesterday the 10th member CC which was which was reinstated under the 19th amendment is authorized to make appointment to the independent commission another news highlight from daily mirror dallas grill by pickle kehlia by fcid united people freedom alliance mp dallas alaha perumal was yesterday summoned the presidential commission of inquiry into large scale corruption in connection with the complaint made of non settlement of bills owed the state owned television channel another news highlight from daily mirror newly appointed ministry secretaries The undermentioned ministry secretariat were appointed to the new ministry yesterday afternoon at the presidential secretariat at a function held under the patronage of the presidential secretary P B Abeko. The secretaries obtained their letters for appointments in the presence of the secretary to the prime minister Saman Ekaraika and secretary to the cabinet Sumit Abey Singh. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror: Blue Mangal shooting four suspect released. Colombo Additional Magistrate Nishant Pires has discharged Gayan Gunawardena, Priyanka Karuna Ratna, Damit Priyanka and Tarind Dushanka arrested in connection with the Blue Mental shooting. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, contempting of court case against Champikaranavaka. Three attorneys at law have filed a contempt of court case in the Supreme Court against Minister Patali Champikaranavaka. seeking an order to punish him making a malicious and contemptuous statement on the conduct of the supreme court another news highlight from daily mirror commission on missing persons 7000 death during the final phase of war presidential commission investigation complaints into missing persons has found number of deaths during the final stage of the armed conflict does not exceed 7000 as against the 40000 death mentioned in the UNHRC report the daily mirror learns another news highlight from daily mirror Two new CMs for WP and NWP. United People Freedom Alliance Provincial Councillor Isura Deva Priya was yesterday appointed as the Chief Minister in the Western Province, while UPF Provincial Councillor Dharma Sri Dasanayake was appointed Chief Minister of the North Western Province. Now let's see the paper highlights from Daily News. Avant Garde and KP issues. AG defeats its position. In a view of the recent media reports on the step taken by the Attorney General YWJ Vijay Tilaka PC with the regard with the Avant Garde case as well as the investigation and the prosecution of Chanmugam Kumaran Dharmalingam Alaiz Kumaran Patnadan it has become necessary for the Attorney General Department to clarify its position to these two matters so that the public is accurately informed for the facts state the attorney general in a statement the statement at we are the avant garde case was concerned the attorney general acted to the evidence made available by the criminal investigation department and the observance submitted by the ministry of defense sri lanka navy and the other government agencies it was decided that offense under the firearm ordinance explosive at prevention of terrorism act are not disclosed the cid was given specific instructions by the attorney general in june 2015 to provide the commission to investigate allegations of robbery or corruption any evidence of corruption related to the running of the floating armory another news highlight from daily news introduction workshop for mps on september 10th and 11th 
the introduction workshop for the members of parliament elected to the 8th new parliament organized by the secretary general of parliament will be held from 9 am to 5 pm on september 10th at lobun at committee room on first of parliament another news highlight from daily news Sajin was redemanded. The Colombo Ford Chief Magistrate yesterday denied bail for former UPFA MP Sajin was Gunawardena, now in remanded custody since his arrested in May this year. When the case was taken up before the court, was bail application was turned down and he was ordered to be in jail. Another news highlight from Daily News: Double tragedy in Danish pit. A woman who fell into the drainage in a parama who attempt to rescue her died after inhaling poisonous gases in the pit in the land at Kerala Velakattua Ambilipitiya on Monday. Another person who attempt to rescue the man and the woman was also admitted to the hospital in a critical condition. Another news highlight from Daily News EU to lift ban into the SL fish export soon. The high-ranking delegation of the European Union is slated to arrive in Sri Lanka during October an inspection tour of country's fisher sector. Following this visit, the EU is likely to revoke their ban on Sri Lanka fish exports as authorities have already implemented a number of recommendations proposed by the UE in 2014. This was delivered by Fishers and Aquatic Resources Development Minister Mahinda Amaravira after assuming duties and his new portfolio yesterday. Now let's move to the paper highlights of Ceylon today. Ex MP son in alleged check fraud. Former United National Party parliamentarian Joseph Michael Pereira son Anthony Pereira was remanded after was arrested by the Criminal Investigation Department. for allegedly issuing checks amounting to rupees 9 million which have been rejected by banks another news highlight from ceylon today python found near the parliament maintained labors cleaning up the parliamentary ground yesterday morning discovered a young four foot long python enjoying the jaws in the grassy expanse of the sri jayawardena pura kote parliamentary complex We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspaper. We will bring you more tomorrow.